Welcome to Faith in Five, a weekly video devotional designed to discuss practical spiritual concepts in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Mark Vandella. So I grew up uh, basically spending every single weeknight, every single weekend, and my all of my summers on a field just like what's behind me. Essentially, I grew up here. I grew up here uh, in, in a way that maybe is unique to me, maybe not unique to, to me. But basically, I grew up kind of chasing my brother. I have an older brother, and, and I remember uh, trying to keep up with him and his friends. And, and he was very good at baseball, and so I wanted to be as well. I looked up to him. But I looked up to him not only because he was my older brother, but uh, looking back on some of this, uh, I, had the, I had the lucky experience of uh, seeing a brother who was in high school who would oftentimes put aside time with his friends, and he would throw you know, throw uh, batting practice to me. Uh, or he would send me out to the outfield and he'd hit me pop flies. Um, I had a brother, like a high school kid, that did that for his middle school little brother. I also grew up uh, having parents that worked for themselves and had the flexibility to be at every single one of my games. They sat in the bleachers. Uh, my dad actually was the, the head of the umpires at one point as a volunteer role. And so I spent so much time here on the baseball field. And now I know that not everybody's family, uh, it, their experience growing up is that way. And I think that, that it's fair to acknowledge that. But I also want to acknowledge my family's not perfect. And my brother's not perfect. I know it's hard to believe, but my parents aren't perfect. And uh, maybe even harder to believe is that I was not perfect. See, the hard part about family is, is sometimes we expect perfection. And in doing so, we are often disappointed. And so the, the way for us to kind of cultivate gratitude around the people closest to us, our family, and again, you can put yourself in your own family setting that sometimes uh, if it's not a parent or a sibling, uh, we actually get the opportunity if we get married or have kids ourselves, or maybe it's an extended family, that we get to uh, kind of develop what that family looks like in our future. That's, that's the gift of it. But the reality is that we, being grateful for those closest to us takes some sort of intentionality. And bigger than that, it takes grace. See, admitting that I'm not perfect, I was very challenging to my parents at times. I, I, I am rather creative at times. And so that led to me being a little uh, punk at times. And I know that when I was chasing my brother and I looked up to him, I also know I did things to him that annoyed him on a regular basis. And he still, he still was grace-filled and came and threw batting practice to me when I didn't deserve it. He showed up at my games and when he was in college, he would come back to watch my high school games even when I didn't deserve it. And so the way for me that I've been kind of picturing different components of our lives and how do we uh, express gratitude in those places so that we can build this really robust life of gratitude in the family space, the thing that's really resonating with me is a verse from Colossians. It's uh, Colossians 3.13. It says that be tolerant with each other. And if someone has a complaint against anyone, forgive each other. As the Lord forgave you, so also forgive each other. And I think that it's only fair in our family settings that we, we kind of carry that around. That we should be able to give grace and forgiveness because God did it first for us. And inside of our families, although they're not perfect, I know that I need to give grace to my parents and I need to give grace to my brother because he did it for me when I most certainly did not deserve it. And again, in your life, you may not have had the same experience where your parents were always in the stands or they would drop everything out of hat to be with you or, or maybe you don't get along with a brother or a sister and the, the trick is, what did we learn from either side of that fence, good or bad? One of the exercises I like to do with couples who are preparing to get married is I ask them uh, two questions. Basically, the first question, and this I think helps us with our, our approach to gratitude moving forward, is one, what is something you learned as a kid growing up, as observing your parents, observing their relationship, or in this case too, with your siblings? that you would wanna perpetuate, that you wanna carry out, that made you wanna be a better person who you are today in your current family setting. 
And then also, you have the grace and the latitude to ask the opposite side of the question. What are some things that you observed in your family, that you observed in your parents, that you observed in your siblings, that you just, it wasn't great, and you don't want to perpetuate? Some of those bad places are places we should give grace, and some of those places are, are potentially bad enough in our lives that, that we can determine in our lives, as we have a family, that we don't need to carry that on. And that's what I believe this Colossians verse is trying to help us see is that let's give grace. Let's not carry that around and let it weigh us down and be a burden to us. But in what ways could we reflect on the places where other people that are closest to us, who have seen, it as, seen us at our worst, have given us grace, who have extended forgiveness when we didn't need it? And then lastly, how might you reach out to some of those people in your life and thank them and tell them, that you are grateful for them. And in doing so, it helps replace some of those, those hard places in our hearts, the places where maybe we, we protect, the places where we're not easily vulnerable and allows us to let go of them and replace them with gratitude. This week in your faith, consider your family, your immediate family, your extended family, and look at the places, be thankful for the places that others have given you grace when they know you at your worst. And then consider places where you might be able to extend grace yourself shoot somebody that's close to you a text and let them know you're thinking about them. And I guarantee you will experience more gratitude this week. Thanks for watching Faith in 5. If you like what you see, please like and share. If you're interested in making a donation to our ministry, please click the link below.